we'll get started here shortly. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. Israel. Right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. In his son's name, who the world entered the call of Jesus Christ. Real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Also give a praise, honor, and glory unto the Hebrew Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, which is the force and entity that makes this edification possible. I want to say shalom to all you sincere hearted Akin Wa Akwath, that you brothers and sisters make your bodies a living sacrifice on a daily basis in this wicked and adulterous generation. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who tells this truth and who rule well. And uh, as the title of this lesson is, Satanism is the religion of this world. You so-called Christians are hypocrites. And that's right, man, because, um, you know, here you have, um, you know, the likes of Vocab Malone, you know, uh, and a lot of these other so-called uh, Christian scholars and, and Christians in general, right? And, and really the, the people of this world in general are trying to 
you know, come up against, you know, the Hebrew Israelites trying to come up against the Lord's chosen people, particularly the prophets that are out there on the highways and byways, you know, prophesying the words of the, of the Holy Bible, right? Deeming us and, and trying to categorize us as being wicked, categorize it, trying to categorize us as being, you know, a, a cult, you know, some some dark secret cult that does wickedness and evil. But really, in reality, you people are. You people are, 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 the, are the real Satanists, man. And you people are a bunch of hypocrites. And this lesson, man, this is undeniable proof, right, that we're about to bring up. All right. This is undeniable proof, right, that, that you people that's coming up against the Lord's chosen people, right, particularly the prophets, y'all are hypocrites, man. Because where are you at signing a crime for all the abominations? Where are you at trying to uh, uh, rate, lift up the righteous standard, you know, protect the children, you know, from the wickedness of this world, man? Here, you got Vocab Malone, right? You got Vocab Malone and a lot of these other people, man. They're trying to come up against us because we're just preaching, right? That uh, We're preaching that you know, how, the, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, the true image, the true character, or the true people. And we're teaching that the kingdom is going to be established right here on earth for the nation of Israel. And the, and the heathens are going to be slaves, but yet we're the wicked, according to these people. But yet when it comes to things such as uh, P to the E to the D to the O activity, when it comes to things as uh, Satanism or Satanist clubs in these particular schools, right? Everybody's quiet. Ain't nobody got nothing to say, right? So in this video, right, this is undeniable proof, man, that these people, that you people don't care nothing about righteousness. You don't care nothing about the standard of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. You people just hate us, man, because you ain't us. Right, <laughs> but nonetheless, let's go. Let's get into this video here. I, the after-school Satan Club met for the first time here at Holmes Elementary. This has controversy brewing throughout the school district and the community. I let my kids believe in whatever the hell they want to believe in, as long as they're happy and it's not hurting them or hurting someone else. Christina Long sorts through her kids' bag. Got some pencils and we got a sticker. New school supplies from her kids' new group. The After School Satan Club. Did your kids have fun today? Oh yeah, they had a blast. They can't wait for the next one. It's sponsored by the Satanic Temple. The After School program is popping up around the nation and in many schools that also give space to Christian groups. In Ohio, there's three. Lebanon, Eaton, and now Wilmington. We look to Satan as a symbol for standing up to tyrannical authority. To us, Satan is a symbol. Um, it's like Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy. The new group isn't about conjuring up spells. Instead, June Everett, the after-school Satan Club national director, says it's about critical thinking, creative expression, and inclusion. We don't talk about Satanism, um, even though we are non-theistic, meaning we don't believe, again, in a supernatural Satan. Um, we don't talk about, we don't push it on the kids. Playing devil's advocate is Jane Johns. She stands alongside others that question the Satan Club's motives. Well, I, I think most people are frightened by hearing that. I mean, it, it, that is a little, un, you know, uneasy to take in. Wilmington City Schools released a lengthy statement that reads in part, the after school Satan Club is not district or school sponsored event, and it does not endorse the activities or the intent of the group or any religious groups. I understand that we have to have both you know, if you allow one, you have to allow the other. Um, but, you know, with Satanism, everything's linked to be evil. It's what we've been taught. This sticker was one of many things passed out to kids in their goodie bags this afternoon. And this group will meet once a month. Reporting in Wilmington, Danielle Dindak, WLW. See that? See that, man? All right. And this proves, this proves all the more. All right. Who's in rulership? And, you know, those of us that, that's, that's already in the know, man, we're not surprised. It irks us. It vexes us. Right. Because we already know. Let's, as a matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Job 924. Right. We already know. Right. That the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. But this proves that you people, man. Right. That is coming up against, you know, the men, of the Lord. Y'all don't care nothing about righteousness. You don't care nothing about trying to really protect, you know, uh, uh, in so-called innocent souls. You know, from 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 uh, evilness, man, from evil, right? Because where's vocab, right? And this also proves this also proves that that the people that's claiming themselves to be, right, the J to the E to the W's, right, that they're the false people. How are you the true children of the Lord? And this is your kingdom, but yet Satanism is taught in schools, man. 
So you telling me the Lord's kingdom is going to have a, a group of after school Satanists for little children to meet up? This is proof that you're the wicked one, as scripture says, that is going to be revealed in his time. See, and this that your own tongue is falling upon yourself. Your own deeds is exposing you for who you really are. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of. You're the one, as a matter of fact, let's get this in Job 9, 24. Then we're going to get second Thessalonians. This is the book of Job chapter 9 and 24. Let me make sure my audio is still playing because Esau is trying to play some games with me, man, on this YouTube. All right. Looks like we're good. It says, uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who's the wicked, man? Malachi 1 and 4. We keep going over these things, right? But we see these things playing out, man. We see it more and more uh, crystal clear every single day. Right? This place is, has truly been given into the hands of the wicked, man. Everything that is in complete opposition against Yahweh Bashamal Shah, the water, uh, the water, uh, uh, Neil Paya, Shalom, you know, but everything that's in, in opposition against Yahweh Bashamal Shah is exalted here, it's promoted here, and it's protected here. And if you go against it, then you're you're the enemy, man. See, and this is why Yahweh Bashamal Shah is about to bring holy hell upon this place, man. It deserves it. It deserves it, man. It says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's right. If, if the so-called white man, right, is not the wicked, where and who is this man? Who is the wicked? All right. If this, if, if that video we just played, right, and whose rulership was this done under? Esau Edom's. So if this ain't the wicked rulership, who and where is he, man? All right. So let's grab this here in the book of... um. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. Right? This is Second Thessalonians 2, and we're going to start right here, verse 8. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. That's right. That wicked is being revealed now. He's revealing his own damn self, man. You know, primarily it's coming from the Spirit of the Lord through through the men, through his prophets. Right? But Esau's revealing his own damn self, as scripture says in Job. What was that? Job the uh, the 15th chapter. Your own tongue condemneth thee, and not I. See, it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And who's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets, it says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. This man is being destroyed, man. Right. And ultimately, Yahweh Shah is going to come and destroy this man right with fire. Verse nine. Now, check this out. It says, even him, even him and that him, if you can see, you know, here in the uh in the uh it's, it's italicized which lets you know it's speaking about a particular him this particular pronoun right it's talking about esau edom even him who's coming right let's go into this word coming in the um in the greek and that's why the lord says um you know if any man be a friend of the world you know, he's an enemy of Yahweh Bashem Shah because this world is wicked. This is the kingdom of Satan, man. This is uh, going to that word coming in the Greek. Strong's G3952. Strong's G3952. Parousia. Parousia. All right. And it says coming, arrival. Um, oh, you see right here. It says, finally, of the wicked, all right, by implication, physically, aspect, coming, presence. So this man is physically here. So even him who's coming or physical appearance is after the working of Satan, man, right, with all power and, and, and signs and lying wonders, all right, even him who's who's coming is after the working of Satan. You have after, this is literally a, a, a real thing. We just watched it, man. We just watched the video, all right? Which we've already been knowing, all right? But they're just putting it more and more and more out there, man. Letting you know up up directly up front that hey, I'm Satan. And bro, the Lord is throwing us. A, he's throwing us a what do you call it? A bone, man. This is easy. But yet you still got two thirds of our people, right? Still fighting for the for the uh, white supremacy image of so-called Jesus. You still got two thirds of our people thinking that this man is God himself. You got this man 
you know, uh, you got our people still thinking that this man is there is, is, is good. Right. But this man himself is telling you, man, that he's the wicked. He's Satan. He's he's that man who's who's going forth is after the working of Satan. Like how much more proof do you need? Scrap this in the book of uh, 1 John. And you people are goddamn hypocrites, man. I mean that from, from the bottom of my heart, man. I truly do. You people are goddamn hypocrites, man. All of you that's packed in those goddamn Christian churches, man. All you niggas that say that you, that say that you care about judgment and justice and righteousness. Your ass marching down the street just because a nigga got shot. By a white cop but yet where are you at when it comes to matters like this you nigga silent man because you are of your father the devil man you're partial in judgment see and you're part of the problem as well all you people are hypocrites man and scripture said we're gonna get some scriptures about you goddamn hypocrites man you know it's a lucky for my zeal man but this just has got me fired up got me amped up man you people are worthless man if you're not signing crime, right, for this for this abomination, you're you are the problem, man. And Yahweh Shah is your enemy. You're his enemy. This is 1 John chapter 5 and verse 19. Let's start at verse 18. We know that whatsoever whoso like we know that whosoever is born of the most high sin of not and who's born of Yahweh Bashma Shah, the elect, man. Born of the spirit. Right? It says, but he that is begotten of the most high keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. That's right. At the end of the day, Esau can't do nothing against us, man, if we're part of that number. Esau can't touch us. As Yahweh Shah says, you know, all that the Father had given me, I have lost none. Verse 19, main point. And we know that we are of the most high. That's right. You should be convinced of that. You should be convicted of that. I know I'm of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. All right, Lord willing, he keep me. Right? It says, and we know that we are the most high, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And that video that we just opened up with, man, that's proof. That's all proof, man, that this world lieth in wickedness. This is the kingdom of Satan that you see. And see, what Esau's planning on doing, right, erecting an NWO, right? He 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 planned that that's gonna be like the crowning. That's going to be the the, the 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 crowning of the kingdom of Satan, man. See, but Yahweh Shemasha is frustrating this man. He's got his, he's got this man snitching on his own damn self. That video we just played, bro, that was Esau letting you know that he's that he's uh, he's that one who's going forth is after the working of Satan, man. Undeniable proof. But you dumbass, simple ass Christians, man. Right, especially those of you that that's of the tribes, you so-called Black Hispanic and Native Americans, right? Those of you who refuse to see this man for who he truly is, even though he's telling you, right? The the Heavenly Father and His Son has beef with you, man. And if this if this video is getting under your skin, good, good, man. It's supposed to, right? This is the book of uh. Let's get that in the NLT. First John five and nineteen in the NLT, right? It says, we know that we are that we are the children of the most high and that the world around us. Look around you, right? <laughs> look at look at the people around you, man. Look at it. We was uh, going into it at camp last night, man. These people are goddamn brute beasts. The way they live, their mannerisms, their characteristics, the way they walk, the way they blink. These people, like, you could just tell that these people are possessed, man. It says, we know that we are the children of the Most High and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one. Come on, man. This world is under the control of the evil one. Right? But yet you got you got people thinking that this is it. This is the kingdom. Right? <laughs> this is the kingdom of Satan, man. Scriptures is letting you know. This is why we're signing crime, right? Uh, and asking you how about Shemash pleading, man, that he make the time short. Cut it short in righteousness sake. We're hastening the day of righteousness. We're hastening the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Because this is not it, man. This is the kingdom of Satan. As scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And who's known as death in the scriptures? Habakkuk 2 and 5. The one that keepeth not in his home. 
and his goings forth is as hell and death, man. Right? So let's get some more scriptures here. This is uh, the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 94. And Lord willing, you know, I do a, just a quick little lesson on the whole chapter of Psalms 94. Beautiful chapter. But uh, let's get this in verse 16. Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up? Let's start at verse 15. <clears throat> but judgment shall return unto righteousness. And that's right. Once you have a shock, what does it say in Revelation 19? He shall wage war or he shall judge the world in righteousness, man. So judgment is going to return unto righteousness, man. Because here, judgment is falling to the streets, as scripture says. There is no righteousness. There is no judgment in the gates, man. But judgment shall return here upon planet Earth. See? But Yahweh shall went a long time. Right. As, as scripture says, with, uh, uh, refraining himself, holding himself. Right. Not executing judgment speedily. Therefore, you people's hearts is fully setting you to do evil. Right. But judgment shall return. The Lord is not mocked, man. He just allowed the wicked to triumph for a little season. Right. And that was our chastisement. That was our punishment. That was our captivity. But now our captivity is almost up, man. The triumphing of the wicked is short. So judgment shall return unto righteousness and all the upright in a heart, meaning in mind, shall follow it. Speaking about the elect, man, all the all the elect is going to follow after this true judgment, man. And what's that judgment we're looking for? Revelation 13, 9 and 10. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill with the sword shall die, uh, shall uh, be killed with the sword. Here is the faith and the patience of the saints. So if you're a true saint of your by Shemal Shah, right, you'll, you'll be considered the upright in mind that will be following this true judgment, man. That's why we're searching the scriptures daily to see if these things are so. This is us following after judgment, man. And you people, as scripture says, let's grab that real quick in the book of Proverbs. What is that? Proverbs uh, 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment. This is why you people don't understand the judgment and decrees of, of the king of heaven man of the king of heaven and earth yeah because you're evil if you have a problem with the lord saying that, that anybody that's a sodomite got to be put to death if you have a problem you know with with america being destroyed you're an evil person evil men understand not judgment if you have a problem with a woman being under subjection of her under her under her man you're evil Right, it says, but they that hey, just like that video we just played, man. Right, <laughs> if you have, if you have a problem with me making this video through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, getting on those Satanists for these after school Satan clothes for these children, you're evil, clearly. Right, this is why you're not going to hear T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and Benny Hinn and Apollo White and Joyce Meyer, uh, Tony Evans, right. Vocab Malone, you're not going to hear them, right, crying out uh, about the abomina uh, abomination of, of this after school Satan club for children, man. For children. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh Bashima Shah understand all things. Why is that? Because as you seek Yahweh Bashima Shah, your mind is conformed to the image or the mind of Yahweh Shah, as it says in 1 Corinthians 2. But we have the mind. Of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, because a spiritual man discerneth all things. Because this is a this is truly a spiritual war out here, man. Ephesians six chapter. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against uh, principalities and, and wickedness in high places. That video was testament of that, man. And but who's forwarding that? Who's working that? Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, which lets you know that he is that wicked. But that's good news, though. It's, it's good and bad news that this is the kingdom of the wicked. It's bad news because, right, we got to suffer this shit. We got to live in it and experience the bitterness of, of being in the kingdom of Satan. But it's also good news because we know what's right on the other side, man. It's, this, it's the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. And in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, first and foremost, starting with Yahweh Shah and the elect men underneath him, we're going to be able to to push our vibration and righteousness upon planet Earth. Just at, just like Esau is pushing all his agendas, all his desires, 
all his wants and, and needs and everything he craves in his mind, just how he pushes that up on planet Earth, we're going to be able to do that in righteousness, man. And the Lord is so beautiful about it. He's chosen certain men, right, to, to obtain certain sections of the earth, right, to inherit that's going to be theirs. And they're going to be able to, to be gods over that section of land, man, even over other planets in righteousness, man. And you got to be wicked. You're a hypocrite if you don't like that. Point blank, period, man. This ain't for no discussion. It ain't for your for you to get on the comment board and put your opinion. Well, I don't know about that. No, it's just what the scripture says, man. So keep your energy. We gonna see, right? But anyway, let's go back here to the book of uh, where are we at? Psalms ninety four. This is the book of Psalms, chapter ninety four, and sixteen. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Right. Who is going to rise up for Yahweh Bashmah Shah against the evildoers? And who's doing the evil? He whose goings forth is after the working of Satan. Right? Just as the video we just showed. So who's rising up for the Lord against, against that man? Against that evildoer? The men that you see before you on the, on the highways and byways, man. Because there ain't nobody else. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me? Against the workers of iniquity. Unless the Lord, Yahweh Shah, had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. So that's right, man. Unless the Lord didn't, uh, if the Lord didn't give us his truth and this comfort in these evil times, man, we would have dwelt in silence. We would have been in the grave, man. Ain't no telling what we would be, man. Bugged out, right? Just acting a, a complete ass in society because we frustrated. Right, but see the Lord, as scripture says, what is that? Psalms 119. Let's get that real quick. See, this word has healed us, man. And it's showing us how to deal in a satanic evil world. This is Psalms chapter 119 and verse 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word have quickened me. That's right. Let's read it again. This is my comfort in my affliction. That's right, man. These scriptures is our comfort. This is what helps us deal and cope, right? With with the uh, satanic agendas in this world, man. For thy word have quickened me, man. See, this is the, man. This is the this is the mercy of Yahweh Shah. He's comforted us in hell, man. Imagine that you and we in hell, but yet the Lord is so gracious. He's given us comfort in hell. Only through the scriptures, we ain't got comfort in nothing else. We ain't got comfort in having a nice car, you know, a bad woman. A big, a big house. No, this is our comfort, right? To to do to ultimately do what? To give us enough comfort and edification to where we'll get built up, so we can get the hell up out of here, man. No pun intended, right? So this is verse fifty-one. The proud and who's the proud? Read the book of Obadiah. The Edomites, the proud have had me greatly in derision, meaning in confusion, man. We was Esau had us confused, bugged out, right? Just as he's having these little children bugged out in these in these after school satanic uh, programs, man, which ain't nobody speaking out against. But yet they want to speak out against us, the, the Israelites, man. All you see in the news. God damn, man. All you see in the news is Kyrie, Kanye and IUIC. Uh, we the problem. The, 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 the Jews, the Israelites, they the problem marching in the militant formation. But God damn, what about these after school Satanist programs, man? Why they ain't in the news, man? You people are goddamn hypocrites, man. Salakia, 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 you know, for getting zealous, man. But, whew, bro, this got to come to an end, man. I feel David, man. Bro, the proud have, have had us in great derision. You trying to figure this out, man. And I understand why a lot of our people, man, fucking... Don't even believe in the Bible, man. If you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shah up on you, it's understandable why our people don't believe in the scriptures, man. You know? Because the people that, that have the Bible in their hands and behind these pulpits, they're not even, they're not using the judgments that the Lord says to comfort our people. That's why we speak about the, the harsh judgments and the famines and the death that's going that the Lord's going to bring forth. That's that should comfort you if you if you're a sincere believer. You should want to see the reward of the proud. 
You should want to see the reward of, of, the, of these goddamn Satan knights, man. That's what, I, that's what these people are, Satan knights. They descending to Satan, man. You should want to see that. And if you don't, you're a Satan knight, man. So the proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. <sighs> Verse 52, I remember thy judgments of old. That's right, man. Why did David remember the, the, the judgments of the Lord of old? Because he, he, he remembered what, what he did to Pharaoh. He remembered what he did for our people to, to allow us into the promised land. All right? Killing off the Hittites, the Jebusites, the per, uh, Perizzites, the Canaanites, those, those workers of uh, uh, idolatries, you know, those workers of witchcraft. Same thing that Esau is doing in these times, man. And the Lord killed them off and allowed us to inherit their land. And he killed them off by our hands, man. See that? So we remember the judgments of the Lord of old. Because he's going to do the same thing again in these times. Except upon a, on a much more grander scale. I remember thy judgments of old, O Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and have comforted myself. See that? So we get comforted by remembering the judgments of the Lord. And these people need to be greatly judged, man. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing out. Let's grab this in the book of Job, chapter 13. And the water for the scriptures, I, you know, so lucky if I can't get to them all. <clears throat> this is uh, Job chapter 13 and verse 15. So lucky verse uh, 16. He also shall be my salvation. For a hypocrite shall not come before him. That's right. A hypocrite shall not come before him. And if you're not signing a crime for all these abominations that's going on, if you're just passive, if you're quiet about these this wickedness that's going on planet Earth, you're a hypocrite. And you will not stand before Yahweh Shah when he comes back to judge this place, man. You will be laid out flat. You're not going to be able to stand, man. And that's that's all you Christians, man. This is the book of Job, chapter 15. All right. Let's grab this here in the, ver in the verse um, 34. For the congregation of the hypocrites. See that? So the scriptures speak about it, the congregation of the hypocrites. America, well, really this whole world is a congregation of hypocrites. But the Lord has reserved a small portion of, of, of people, right, away from that evil congregation. It says, for the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate. A fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Verse 35, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity. And that's what Esau's doing right now. He's this is the reason why he's got all these agents coming up to the brothers' camps. The reason why he's got vocab on a, on the diligent search trying to figure this thing out. This is him trying to conceive mischief, not try, but he is conceiving mischief. But what does scripture say? He's going to bring forth vanity, meaning nothing, man. Because at the end of the day, you can't lay anything to charge against the Lord's elect, man. And their belly, meaning their minds, prepared the seat. See. This whole kingdom is built off of this, uh, deceit, deceitfulness, falsehood, lack of judgment. See, and the Lord is allowing us to, to suffer these things and witness these things so we can hate our lives here even more. So once that hour of temptation comes, like what the hell are you going to take the chip for, man? Just to stay in Satan's kingdom? Right? Just to have children to where your children are going to have to go to these after school Satanist programs, man? <laughs> So, so the Lord is making it easy for us, man, to know who the wicked is and also to hate our lives here more, man, and to look forward toward the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shai even more. This should make you want to go harder in the truth, man, seeing things like this. You know, but I'm going to end it out here. You know, the water for the scriptures out, you know, and you brothers and sisters that's tuning in, you know, you can look at the comment board, you know, the scripture the brothers put up, hey, the water, you know, to next time, I'm going to give all praise and the glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, DTA Baba Ball, DTA Ababa Ball, Kwame Sharala, Shalom.